everybody, thank you very much for tuning into your reading with me, Lorian. Um, just a quick message to say thank you so, so much for everybody who subscribed, liked, shared these videos. Um, I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Um, and thank you as well for just kind of connecting with me and supporting me. Um, these are general readings. These are for your sun, moon and your rising sign. So if you are looking for a private personal reading, just click the link below. There's loads of readings available for you. Um, so just take a look and see which kind of reading, I suppose, you would like to get from myself. Um, here's hoping November's a good one, simply because it's my birthday this month. So, fingers crossed. Um, and if it is your birthday as well, if you're a Scorpio or a Sagittarian, there are special birthday offers as well for you. So, here's hoping. Let's have a look. Hello Aries, thank you very much for tuning into your November reading with me, Lorian. So sorry it's taken a while to get this through to you. Thank you so much for your patience while I organised everything. Um, various things, including my birthday, has prevented me from actually being able to do this. But I'm here now and let's take a look and see what's coming through. So we're using the Archangel Oracle deck by Drawing Virtue and also the Taramucha by uh, Los Garabeo. I think it's made by, but I don't know the actual artists and everything. Um, so do look that up if you want to. Ooh, hello. Now, are you for Aries, or are you just... Okay, I'm being told to put them down. So I'm going to put them down for you. That saves a bit of time. Um, and I was just about to say, um, I mean, I have shuffled these before, but I did a meditation before this reading, and it seemed to be a little bit of root chakra work, finding out more about what you want, um, being grounded, and phew, kind of not living in your head too much. I don't know why that is. Let's have a look. Okay. Now that one came out for cancer. That was the first one. Let's see what you get for these. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everywhere. These are being very jumpy. You seem to want to come out. Is there any other thing for an Aries? Passion, great, okay. Alrighty. What is being told? Okay. They're saying you're gonna book a trend, you're gonna book a system, you're gonna um, cause some ripples, maybe intentionally, maybe not intentionally. By the way, you are going to stand some very solid ground. You are going to shake things up. They want you to be sure that you have something soft to fall onto, just in case things get a little bit hairy. Um, I think you've had enough with something. You're going to take action again. So you've had enough with somebody or someone um, that you work with, it's just or something, a situation, and you're going to try and do something about it. It could be that you feel stagnating in your current position or a relationship or something, and you're just going to do something about it. Aries are not one to sit idly by and just twiddle the thumbs and wait for the other person to do it. But I think you have tried the patient way, and now it's time to act. Um, you, your, your planet is the god of war. Scorpio and Aries share that planet so we get it but there's such an unbridled passion again passion with regards to Aries that I think that you put your heart and soul into everything and it drives you forward some people may think that you're coming off a bit crass or um, immediate or something like that this month pay no heed to them and I actually am going to start with this card trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career I actually think there should be a comma, to be honest, because I don't see this as just love life. I think your love, your life, and your career, because this is going to be incredibly um, important for you over the course of, I think, of the next three months, to be honest. Um, there are... Okay, they're saying hatch an escape plan. <laughs> I don't know why that would be, but hatch an escape plan. Um, let's see. Seven of Wands. This is normally a card about being defensive and 
standing your ground and going basically up against people who would try to back you into a corner but you win them out you see to the end of your projects to the end of a relationship or to the end as much as you can and then you kind of go well I've actually got the next stage of my life to go to now I'm gonna stick up for myself and I'm gonna make my voice heard and this is gonna be me um I do see this as being quite an important turning point for you what they seem to be indicating is quite, it's like a battleground almost, it's a battle stance, you're strong, you're going to feel the strength in your heart, and you're going to feel the strength of this carrying you forwards, you're going to be led by your chest, you're going to be led by this heart, and they're saying the muscle is the heart, you know, they want you to lead forwards um, with that kind of strength, rather than the physical kind of strength, um, they want you to see the new dawn, they're saying, of various things, Scorpio is normally about a time of uh, transformation and pushing the boundaries of things and I see that you will push boundaries you may I don't know whether this is for you I actually think this could be what you cause so watch what you say watch what you do but don't compromise on what your ultimate goal is so there's various ways of actually handling certain things if you go in blazing you know, and, and ripping down things and all, all that kind of stuff, then you could be in for a dodgy ride. And I'm just getting a very strong deja vu here. It's kind of like I've done all this before and I kind of know what's going to come after and somebody's going to email me and then somebody's going to be disappointed that I can't do them a free reading. And I don't know why this is. It's kind of like I've seen all this before. This card, me saying that, it's kind of like a step-by-step. -step. So... This kind of reinforces to me that you're definitely having to avoid causing this for somebody. And if this happens to you on the off chance that this, you know, you're kind of... I, I actually don't think that you're unprepared for this. I think you're prepared for it. Something's going to be sending you on a different course. And it could be you. I think it'd be better if you chose a different course. But otherwise somebody else is going to do it for you and I don't think that you would be happy with that I think that you'd be happy choosing your own path and choosing the way that you wanted to do and to be honest even if that is brought down and even if things are shattered around you you're going to build on a new foundation a stronger foundation you're going to start to see things return and recuperate and generate and be more solid and more celebratory of the good things that are coming through you're going to be able to see the blessings in your life you're going to be able to experience that and they're telling me to move on so i'm going to this is the messenger okay he looks pretty fierce to be honest he hasn't come out yet wow this is a knight of swords he's pretty badass okay so this basically is a card which comes forward telling you that you are probably going to battle down the hatches you are going to generate some change within your life but this is intellectual change this is kind of like strategy i see this as being a messenger an action you're going to put your thoughts into physical movement you're going to put your money where your mouth is basically and you are going to generate change you it really annoys me when people do this but social media is an outlet for all kinds of opinions facebook feeds a freaking bowl of opinions and all this kind of stuff and articles and agendas and all this kind of things and I think you could be of that kind of ilk this month you may or you may not normally do it but you want to get your voice out you, you want to get your cause out there um whether it be personal or anything else don't air your dirty laundry don't try and call somebody out in a public domain um similarly to those of you who would don't shove your opinion down other people's throats um, because there are other ways to get your message across and not everybody will think the same as you and I know you may want to change their minds but sometimes you just can't focus on the passion of your life focus on the new direction you want to take in your life focus on the renewed energy that you feel for either a cause or something and you're going to speak up about it and you're going to say enough's enough I'm going to do something and most of all let me know how things go for you because I would love to know what my Aries are doing you know I have a lot of Aries friends I always love to hear what they're doing what they're saying where they're traveling um so yeah 
Let me know how things go for you. If it is a private reading you'd like, the link is below. It tells you everything about what you can get from me. And also thank you for supporting me on Twitter, Patreon, um, Instagram, everywhere like that. It's really nice to connect with you. But looking forward to seeing what December holds. And again, take care of yourself. Blessings to all of you and much love. Take care now.